Welcome to another lab in this section, in this video, we're working on lab 2614, Troubleshooting Physical Connectivity. This is a series of four labs. This is the third lab of the series, and we're working for Network Plus and Unit 2, which is Supporting Cabling and Physical Installations. And the skills we're learning in this lab is troubleshooting physical connectivity in a network. So let's go ahead and launch our lab. Let's take a look at the scenario. You are a network technician for a small corporate network. Minutes ago, your entire building had a power blackout. The power has been partially restored, but there are still offices and networking closes without power. Employees in the executive office and the support office have called to report that they can access the internet or other computers on the network. You need to diagnose and fix the problem as it pertains to the network. So we have a couple of offices to troubleshoot, the executive office and the support office. We have a table here with the IPs for these offices. So we're going to rely on these. So in this lab, use the following troubleshooting tools to diagnose the problem on the network. Again, we are troubleshooting executive office and support office which is executive office and support office. These two offices at the bottom, right and left. So we're going to go into the IT admin. And the first thing we're going to do is ping the IP addresses of these computers. Okay, so we're going to go to admin and we're going to launch terminal and we're going to ping to see what's the status here. We're going to go and ping corp server. Unreachable. Ping Office 1, unreachable, we're going to ping Office 2, unreachable, we're going to ping Support, unreachable, we're going to ping IT Admin, this is us, this is the computer we're working on, and then we're going to ping the Executive Office. 192.168.0.34 Unreachable as well. And the last one is the guest laptop. And that is unreachable. So we have a scenario here. From here, we cannot ping any of the devices. Office, Office 2, Support, or guest laptop in the lobby. All of these three offices, including the corp server, is not reachable from this administration office. So, um, the network activity device for all networking devices, since all of these network devices are not being reached with the ping command, we can go to the central uh, to the central part of the problem, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start on the hardware. And we're going to take a look at the switch and the patch panel. This is where we want to troubleshoot when it's a global problem. And just by looking at the rack, we can see that we have a problem here. We have the switch off. There is no activity on the switch, so we need to go to the front of the switch, or I would say the back of the switch, where we have the power. And the power.
power is on, we flip it. And we can take a look at the connection of this one. This one is powering the switch. This one is the connection for the uh, for the router, which is sitting at the top. And this is the switch, the second device on the rack. So we can see that the router is connected to the critical power source in the uninterrupted power supply units. And our switch is not connected to the critical. And since we had an issue with the light, we can conclude that this is the reason the switch is not being powered. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this one to a critical connection. And now we have the switch into the critical connection. Let's go and take a look. And bingo! We have power in the switch. All of the ports are working. The Office 2, that is the original problem, and the Executive Office and Support Office. So let's take a look at the Executive Office connection. We can see activity, we can see the status of the connection. So this one seems to be not, uh, to be okay from the switch and patch panel side. Let's take a look at support. Support is on blocked six port, and we also see activity and status light working perfectly. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go back to our admin, and we're gonna repeat the set of. Uh, Testings and we're going to start with the Corp server, which is the 010. And we're just going to automate here. <laughs> 010 is the first IP. And still, the Corp server is not connecting. Let's go for the next one which is 30 30 is now connected oh no, the 10 is connected the corp server is connected, 0% lost the next computer is connected, 0% lost that was not the issue previously, so we have the first computer not connected second computer not connected now we're going to test 31, which is also uh, the new one. So we're going to test uh, 31. And 31 is now providing connection, 0% loss. We're going to move to the support computer, which is 32. 32 is now pinging perfectly. So we have a network response, and we're going to test the IT admin. We don't need to test this one, but let's test the executive, which is uh, 34. And indeed, we do have a connection on 34. And the last one, the guest laptop in the lobby, which is 35. And 35 is also connected. So apparently we solved the problem at once by just uh, switching the power of the switch 
use the non good spares on the shelf so we didn't need to change any parts but just to confirm we want to go back to the office executive and the support and test our connectivity there for the executive office we can see that we are connected and we have an IP perfectly we go into the support and we can launch terminal but we can see the network card right here oh it's disabled but we can look at the IF config and we can see our Ethernet address is properly connected with an IP with a broadcast and subnet mask and a, the interface is running so we can ping from here uh, let's say we can ping uh, the IT admin which is um, ping um, IT admin 033 and perfect we have connection we can even ping the, uh, we press control C to cut the command and I think we have this problem okay we use the ping command the network activity lights are working the network and internet page are working use the non-good spares on the shelf, we didn't need to use the troubleshooting tools to confirm the problem resolutions we're pinging all the systems in the network so everything is fine the next XR exhibits to network diagram okay so let's go ahead and score the lab and bingo so in this lab we review uh, troubleshoot physical connectivity issues in this specific case, the issue was the power into the switch because the switch is feeding all the power into these different communication uh, it's providing the power and communication to all these offices uh, we couldn't connect to any of them by switching the power of the switch to a critical outlet in the power supply unit uh, we managed to solve the issue that's it for this lab and we'll see you in the following lab.